Welcome back to Flooring My Life TV. This is Donnie Gupton. Uh, today we're going to talk about engineered hardwood flooring. Uh, when purchasing an engineered hardwood, there's a couple things you need to pay attention to. Uh, first off, uh, most importantly, is how much real wood are you getting, uh, which we call a sandable wear layer of veneer. Uh, typically, your products are going to range anywhere from one to six millimeters, with most of your products being, you know, two to three millimeters thick. Now, again, that's just the top wear layer, not the overall thickness of the product. And the reason that's important is that's how many times you can actually sand the floor. So the thicker the wear layer, the more lifetime that product will have. Now, if you have a hand scraped hardwood, that's not as important because you're not going to actually refinish this floor. Um, you're going to recoat it. So having uh, wear layer is not that important. The other thing you want to pay attention to is how it's actually manufactured. Uh, I'll talk about two um, uh, common pr uh, processes they use. One is the dry, dry sawn face. That's where you get your thickest wear layers and that's where they're actually manufacturing the wood the same exact way as they would a solid hardwood. So if you're looking for the real hardwood appearance you want a dry sawn face hardwood. The other option uh, that's pretty popular right now is rotary peeled. Uh, this technique they're actually going to peel the wood off the log. It's where you find a lot of your value products and the reason is they can use more of the lumber uh, to actually manufacture uh, flooring and other types of materials. So rotary peeled, the difference that you would see as a consumer is maybe just a little bit different grain pattern. The quality is the same. Uh, those are the basics of uh, engineered hardwood. You know, if you're really getting down to the details, you want to pay attention to what the actual core of the substrate is. Uh, typically the best is something like a Baltic birch species of wood because that's a slow growing species and the reason for engineered hardwood is the stability. But when you're buying, Focus on the wear layer, focus on how it's manufactured. Donnie Gupton, Floor My Life TV. We'll talk to you soon.